And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live. Few things so as much fear into the hearts of your own people as mass executions. The men were executed for adopting terrorist and extremist thinking and for forming terrorist cells to corrupt and destabilize security. Allegedly, among their crimes was disrespect towards authority. Some of them, can you believe, didn't like the king, protested against it. So serious were their crimes that one of those executed was also crucified. Yes, crucified. 2019, his body strung up for all to see, for all to fear. Today's mass execution is a chilling demonstration of the Saudi Arabian authorities' callous disregard for human life. It is also yet another gruesome indication of how the death penalty is being used as a political tool to crush dissent from within the country's sheer minority. In fact, almost half of those killed were executed after taking part in pro-democracy protests. See, the Arab Spring didn't skirt Saudi Arabia. The Shia minority rose up and wanted change, better, fairer life. The king obviously thought they wanted too much. <laughs> One of those executed, by the way, was 16 years old at the time of his arrest for attending a protest, apparently. He was still a kid. Now, he's an example. In fact, the current king began his reign by staging a massive execution. 47 people beheaded, shot, for crimes that included disobeying Saudi rulers. Biggest blood show since the 1980s. Crucifixions aren't uncommon, peaked in 2012 when five people were strung up. Paralysis reportedly is also in a judge's arsenal. Seriously, they can sentence a person to be paralyzed. In 2005, a court in Saudi Arabia ordered a migrant's eye gouged out as punishment for getting into a fight. Amputation, also a favorite especially for theft, chopping off people's arms and feet for stealing, and of course stoning, reserved for crimes like being too friendly with the opposite sex. What can you say? You want a cherry on top? Saudi Arabia's on the UN Human Rights Council. What a world. Saudi Arabia has defended its decision to execute the individuals it says it will not hesitate to punish anyone threatening the security and the stability of the kingdom. Spokeswoman for the Gulf Institute for Democracy and Human Rights, Fatima Yazbek, believes Riyadh's justice system allows it to tackle anyone whose views differ from the official position. It's not the first time which Saudi Arabia used the death penalty to punish prisoners of conscience who, who dared to spoke out about the human rights violations in the country. We've noticed that there is, um, I think, around five of the of the executed people who were really uh, charged by terrorist uh, terrorism charges. We don't trust the Saudi Arabian judiciary system. Um, we don't trust how did the how did the Saudi authorities handled um, the matters, especially against the protesters who took out to the streets to demand rights and freedoms and who spoke out uh, about what was happening in the country. Um, as most of the Gulf Kingdom, Saudi Arabia uses its judiciary system to fabricate the charges against the dissidents, especially against the activists who spoke out or who used the social media outlets or who participated in demonstrations. Um, the thing is a taboo in the Gulf Kingdom, especially in Saudi Arabia. No one is allowed to speak about what's happening in the country.